Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Jocelyn. In today's video, I'm going to be filming a long awaited, I feel like I've had this just in my head, Zara haul. I have been obsessed with Zara. I don't know what gotten into me. I feel like when I start discovering brands, even though Zara has been around for a very long time, I personally haven't shopped at Zara, so when I start or discover a brand that I haven't shopped at, I just feel like I go down a tunnel vision hole and just start buying from them and only them for a while. So that's what I've been doing for the past couple of months. And so now I'm here because I just have this collective haul for you guys. And it's been a long time since I filmed a haul. And I just feel like let's get back to the roots. Let's do the damn thing and film this haul for you guys. So definitely stick around because I have a lot of good pieces, a lot of summer pieces that pretty much everything is for summer and i think you can get pretty much everything still on their website i will link everything down below for you guys and without further ado let's get on with the zara haul all right so first things first my mind was all about summer just traveling even though i have no plans <laughs> But fingers crossed that we'll have some plan. But either way, I can always save these for when we do plan a vacation. Okay, anyways, I feel like this is all like trendy right now, but I have been kind of like eyeing this material since spring. But it's this crochet top that just is stunning. Like it ties in the back. So you kind of have like an open back in a way. Such pretty colors. I'm obsessed with blue. And then the pop of yellow just is like chef Kiss. I love how it is a straight line so it just kind of really elevates your collarbone area and then it does come with a matching short set so here are the shorts they look exactly the same they have a zipper on the side and then have a tie in the front and I just thought that this on a vacation on a tropical island just sounds like a match made in heaven and I had to get this like I could not pass this up especially because crochet I feel like everyone's just buying it and so I just knew that when I saw this it would fly off the shelves but it seems like they keep restocking it so I'll definitely link it down below because you don't want to miss out on this cute two-piece set like it's so freaking cute oh my god like, I feel like i scored with this and i am so excited to wear it all right next up is kind of still in the same crochet family um, but a little bit different and definitely my vibe because it's neutral it is this off the shoulder kind of crochet moment with these fish net arms that flare out at the end which is so freaking pretty it's so like delicate on the arms but it's this thick crochet material that i feel like just so nice for the summer it's like you're not gonna burn up in this but you're going to be like kind of sucked in she's gorgeous i love the arm detailing and how the sleeves flare out like i just think that's so stunning and adds to this simple but yet intricate top all right so sticking along with like the creams and neutrals because if you know me i just love the creams and neutrals as she says while wearing a bright green shirt but Alas. So I got this cream top here. It is like a crop top, but it has these floral detailings like on the chest area. Honestly, you don't have to wear a bra with this, which is very nice because you won't have to worry about nips or anything, but it's so cute. And I figured this would be paired well with jeans or some slacks, just and sneakers like it just felt like this was a statement in the top area without having to go crazy in the bottom kind of just like adds like almost like an accessory to the outfit which is so cool so i thought this was really really cool all right so i clearly have like a trend going with things slowly so that was like a floral top i got this floral bodysuit that i just thought was beautiful and again neutral so it, it is just like this deep v with these floral just detailing and they're all different material which is cool and it's just so cute like this is like when i think of a summer bodysuit that is a little bit more different than just your regular like black or nude bodysuit this is exactly what i picture and i love how it is that bottom because who likes a bottom that doesn't snap those are the freaking worst because you literally have to take the whole thing off but this is so cute and really nice the one thing i will say about this though is there's not adjustable straps so keep that in mind it's kind of a bummer but the detailing makes up for it all right so the next category is pants so zara has really really nice pants i've been shopping their pants actually last summer i got quite a few pants from them because i just think they're just so different 
and not like you it's a different pant that you can't just go grab anywhere else like they just make very nice materials or patterns or designs and i really really like that they're pants so i kind of went all linen mode with the pants this summer <laughs> i got these flowy taupe linen pants that are just the most organic looking linen pant that you could think of like they're not stark white which i really really like that they're this kind of beige gray is it grayish do you say gray pant with pockets on the front pockets on the back it's a high-waisted pant i got this in a size medium because i find their pants run a tad small and i kind of like that little bit of extra room on my pants as well because the one thing that i hate is when you go out to eat and your pants are like suffocating you by the end of your meal so i always like a little bit extra room so i saw these and i was like these are perfect like just the perfect most organic linen pant and then as far as sizes i will make sure i have my sizes down below as well so yeah i just thought it was so simple but it just added like a nice texture along with an outfit that you could pair like a, a seamless bodysuit with a white t-shirt very like summer brunch at the beach vibes all right next pant is also a linen pant i've been eyeing these pants for a while and i contemplating on taking the plunge or not because they just remind me of like beetlejuice or some like movie that just just look they're these striped black and cream linen pants and they have a trouser look to them so the way like a trouser would clasp up here the way the back pockets look as well which i really like that look but it's 100 percent linen which is so nice they're so airy oh my god chef's freaking kiss and i got these in a medium as well but like linen i'm telling you like this just the fact that it has these stripes just adds a very different element than a pair of black or white trouser pants so so nice all right and the last category for today's haul is going to be jackets why i'm buying jackets in the summer beyond me but i found some cute jackets and i've actually been wearing them because it's still not really hot here it's been in the 70s and then at night it's pretty windy or cool in the 60s so you kind of need a jacket by nighttime. I'm not mad about that because um, I could put these jackets to use but I found this bomber, this washed out bomber. Oh my god, like bombers are back in. I remember in like high school I had like bombers and stuff and then they went away and now they're back in. So it is like a washed out bomber with a faded look. Kind of giving it like a vintage feel it is a little bit cropped but not too cropped it hits right like at your waistline but yeah i've been using this like all the time at night when we go out for like dinner or just go out and about and then it's night time i always bring this jacket it's been such a nice just to have a different like variation of jackets um than like a typical or standard leather or faux leather jacket which i really like all right and then the two last items are still jackets but they're actually blazers you want to consider a blazer or a jacket maybe falls in the same category but i don't really have any blazers i have one that's from h&m and honestly it's cheap and just not good quality and it's a like a houndstooth print so it's not like one you could wear with everything i always knew that zora had nice blazers or good blazers because everyone would always rave about them so i was like okay jocelyn pull the plunge and get a good blazer so that's what i did i got this gray oversized blazer oh my god i wore this to a dinner one time and it was just like the most perfect thing just like felt like it flowed with my body which was so nice i loved it and i get the blazers in a size large because i like that oversized look even if it says that it's an oversized blazer i still get in a large and for reference i'm usually like a small in things so that says anything and it's like the perfect oversized look when i get it in a large so this is adorable oh my gosh shoulder pads it's like chef's kiss the perfect gray it's just all in all a good blazer then i tried getting the same exact blazer style and everything in black but they didn't have it in black um they had it in other colors but not black which was kind of annoying so i got just another style of blazer from zara but in black because i was figured you can't go wrong with black the material is a little different but it is a large black blazer again you just can't go wrong with a good blazer it just like pairs so well with casual outfits elevated outfits like just all chef's kiss so i just had to pick up some some staple blazers because they didn't have any solid color blazers and i knew zara had them all right guys so that is going to conclude today's haul i hope you guys enjoyed it 
I certainly have enjoyed all these pieces. I'm so excited to wear them if I have not yet. I have worn a majority of them, but I'm really excited to put them to use this summer and I will make sure to link everything down below for you guys if it is still available on their website. Also, make sure you are subscribed if you are not because there's also other hauls in the pipeline. Don't be worried. I feel like I haven't filmed a haul in a really long time, but little do you guys know that over the months, I've been collecting stuff. So there's definitely other hauls to come, so make sure you're subscribed. And with that, I will catch you guys in my next one.